princess. Are the cutest things ever? I have a rose-breasted cockatoo. Adorable. I'm left alone with my thoughts and puzzle clicks. <laughs> Working away, hoping I get a call about a job app from later... From last week today, I really hope so too. I really hope so too. Black hole facts. Sure, anytime. It's time for info dumping. It's always time for info dumping, Ira. Evart voice. I can't do that. Listen, Alfie, of course I'm not going to press the power button. <laughs> Sounds like Kermit. I couldn't waste power valuable cross-stitching streamer time turning off your PC and making you restart. What would be the point in pressing the big shiny power button and getting lots of attention? A busy cat, Ophi, I have union matters to attend to. Indeed. Most info about black holes is theoretical. A black hole size of a dust particle has enough mass to destroy a planet. First picture of black hole was taken in 2019. I remember that. That was a big deal. The picture was actually a pic of the event horizon of the black hole. They were prepping to take picture for three years and there were 200 people there when they used it and they took many satellites and observations backed up into it. Installing the Leto needed a restart, it seemed. Some programs are just like it. Indeed it is. Thank you for the welcome back. Budges. Budgies. Budgies. Indeed. Too many kisses. It was a kiss overflow error. Truly was. Yes. Okay. Let's actually cross stitch. Uh, even though. <laughs> even though we had to restart. LT is going to be very salty. I think he went to bed. But if LT was here, he would be very salty that he missed a second opportunity to redeem first. Black holes are super hard to find since they are invisible and don't radiate anything. Although light can't escape a black hole's event horizon, the enormous tidal forces cause nearby matter to heat up to millions of degrees and emit radio waves and x-rays. Special interest. You and Alfie could just go on for days. Hey, do you follow Alfie on uh, Twitch? Mm, is he chaos incarnate or chill? Yeah, how are your birds? I could never have birds because I'm pretty sure they wake up really early in the morning and scream, right? Is this a true fact about birds? Wake up and scream. <laughs> Thank you for the shout out to Geazaki Cosplay, who, uh, I mean, birds. Need I say more? Birds. <laughs> birds and also some horns on her uh, headphones. Need I say more? Need I say more? Do you guys know of the Great Attractor? And I don't mean Leto or Ophi. I'm going to take that as a compliment for now, until I know what the Great Attractor is, because I do not. I think it depends on the breed. Yeah, I am not into wake up and scream. It's I'm not a big fan of wake up and scream. Are we living the dream now? Of wake up and scream? Uh, I mean, maybe? 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 Mm, thank you for the shout out. Yes, thank you whoever modded this. Oh wait, I need to, I need to unpin this. I already restarted my PC. Unpin message. Excellent. Does Leto not wake up and scream? Yeah, but it's like the middle of the night. I don't know. I feel like wake up and scream in middle of the night is less annoying than wake up and scream at something in the morning. <laughs> at like 7 a.m. 7 a.m. I feel like is worse than 4 a.m. I don't know. My personal preference. Wake up, scream while the sun's still down. If the sun is up, there's no chance in going back to sleep, is there? Right? Mm, okay. okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm going to stop now. No more facts. You can send facts if you want to. You can send them. You can keep them. You can save them for another time whenever you want to. She swings between two. She's typically chill unless she sees a neighbor or another bird and then she thinks she deserves cuddles. How dare. How dare you not cuddle this bird? I don't even know how you cuddle a bird. Right there. There, bird. Having had an Alexandrine parakeet can confirm they're either super noisy, getting into mischief, or asleep. Adorable. I've never had anything close to a bird. The funny thing is they start chirping when they hear us getting up. <laughs> That's so cute. Typical cockatoo in that she will scream her full head off when flying around. It's adorable. All of these are so cute. My kitty walks up to me in purrs and then licks its chops until I notice her. New kitty just screams. James, just like my cat, that screams. Much having, like having a toddler that can fly. Um, I don't know if I want a toddler that can fly. That's too much power. Too much power indeed. I will go back down regardless of sun. 
I'm jealous. I don't think I can go back down when the sun's up. It's too late or early. Too early late? They're very vocal when we're there in the room with them. Lots of chirping. They love you. Kiyosaki, they love you. New massive black holes in the middle of galaxies will keeping them together. Also, if someone goes too near them, they will stretch and become spaghetti-like black holes. Uh, they were first discovered in the 1800, in 1800 by Louis Webster and Paul Merdine. They weren't believed until 1960. There are three categories of black holes. You and Alfie could just go off. <laughs> so much space stuff. I'm into it. I think some birds are easier in ways, quieter, more playful, etc. But also a good owner makes a huge difference. Stressed birds act out. This is fair. I have a song. I know a song that's just all birds. Wait, can I find it? <laughs> um. Uh, uh, can I find the song that I have that's just not one second. Wait a second. Mm. Is this it? I think this is it. Wait, where do I want to play this? Is it you? Is this this song? It is this song. We're just gonna play the bird song. Uh, hold on to your cat's name. <laughs> it's a chill bird song. It's a very chill bird song. It's just a whole song of birds. Mm. The volume. Okay, cat. There we go. Um, she tried to attack this. This is a Leto song. <laughs> Cat based music. I love this song. <laughs> it's a chill song. It's a bird based sounds. I just wish I could hire the volume more. I can't. This is as high as it goes. Mm. Just being scratched under the chin like a cat or in her neck, she will actually snuggle into your face and lick it when she likes you. That is adorable. You definitely don't want a toddler that can fly. Yes, this is true. Mm, I love random facts at info dumping. Go off. So glad I'm not home right now because Rosalind would go nuts. She'd try to attack the speaker. It slaps. Does it? It slaps. Mm, I will stop the second someone gets annoyed. You can go off. I might skip reading it out loud. But you can go off. Uh, is that fine, Ira? Can we reach an agreement on this one? Just because it's a bit long. <laughs> but I'm not going to stop you whatsoever. You can have fun if you want to. I like that fun zone pet. Here, here's this bird-based music. Okay. For outdoor walks. Go off. This is what real ones listen to. I don't know how I found this song. I found it years ago, and I was like, damn, the slaps now. <laughs> just just bird-based music. <laughs> Playing this in the club. Um, are you tell okay, I need the song. I just sent it in chat. I just sent it in chat. It's just, it's just bird-based music. I think he has an entire album of bird-based music, but I'm not sure he has. I'm not sure if they're all like that. There we go. So let's go back to our normal, our regularly scheduled non-bird-based music. Maybe. There might be birds. I don't know. I haven't heard this before. Mm, I need to send this to my bird brain roommate. <laughs> it's just called Wake Up Call Cuckoo. <laughs> The great attractor is a gravitational anom anomaly that is currently pulling everything towards it, even negating expansion of space itself. Currently, it's hidden from our sensors behind the zone, uh, zone of avoidance, so we have no idea what it really is, but we suspect it is a supermassive galaxy cluster with immense gravitational pull. Nice. It's, uh... What if it's a cat? Hmm? Has anyone considered... Has science considered pocky cats? <laughs> I should have read three supermassive black hole. A uh, great album by British rock band Muse. Uh, you know the the it's the Twilight song, the song that they play during the baseball scene in Twilight. That one, I know it. Don't worry, I'm so up to date with British rock band Muse. 
the Twilight song. <laughs> bird gang headed out. Yeah, if you do you gotta go, Fubs, or is the bird gang specifically leaving? Is is that is that what's going on? Hi, Spoopy Skeleton. So when you said bird based music, I assumed it was bird music with a bass in the background, like club music. You could remix it. Be the change you wish to see in the world. Take wake up call cuckoo and put some bass in the background. <laughs> wake up call cuckoo trap remix. <laughs> the bird gang calling. Just the bird gang. <laughs> tweet tweet. Yeah, they're in a turf war with my cat right now. Uh, they're not allowed in the cat union that we established earlier. There's two factions going on. Dubstep remix when? I can't remix music. I am not a musician. You go for it. Also, hi, Spoopy Scouts. It's feel free to lurk, hang out, and chat, whatever you want to do. How's it going? Hope it's going well. I went through the link. I love Cosmo Sheldrake's music. I only know the one bird-based song by them, and I'm like, yes, this is what I want. <laughs> of course you're a musician. Says who? Definitely not me. Um, listen, playing the trombone as a teenager does not make you- does not a musician make- <laughs> Does this go? Aid Mabara, Quenta Blarara, a libatic fiki. How's it going? <laughs> How are you? I just finished a 500 piece puzzle almost entirely on my own. Excellent, Sam. I'm very happy for you. Go off. Go off. Uh, you missed bird-based music. That's all you've missed. Also, my cat finally got used to the decorations. She was trying to pull them down, and now she's fine. So. Also, we restarted stream. I forgot. I've only been live for 13 minutes. I was a bit late today. Saws. Saws, babies. Uh, complete recap of what's going on. How are you doing, Marada? Mm. Or did I make that up? Wait, what? Oh, satellite or something that went through a black hole but wanted to send signals afterwards. Was that not interstellar? I don't know. Oh, I love this background. Which one? The Eid background? We are celebrating, baby. Baby. It is. <laughs> I was the one that said tarts were on point for your Alice piece. The tarts. The, the tarts. I don't think anything's. What? Is it? My Alice piece is doing great. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, also because I'm missing Nakba Day, which is, uh, it's not a holiday. It's like a sad holiday. You know how you have so your sad days? Does everybody have sad holidays? Taiwan has sad holidays. But it's like a, it's a Palestinian National Day, basically. Memorial Day, yeah. It's like the biggest, it's not the biggest one. Restart. Oh, thank you. It's on me. <laughs> Mm, arms to stay no yeah because there's like sad ones but the thing is uh lots of places have like an independence day <laughs> kind of none of that in palestine so we have like a that's the one israel completely denies it's catastrophe day uh, that's what it literally translates to it's may 4th uh it's catastrophe day it's the day that like uh people there was the mass dispulsion from palestine it's a big one it's the is the big, big catastrophe day. So I'm missing that one, which I would also have set up Palestinian decorations. So I went extra hard today because I will not be here in a couple of weeks. But this is a happy holiday. So we get to have a happy Palestinian celebration day. That's what we're doing. <laughs> well, we're going to have a good one today. Mm, what's that golden thing? It's, wallahi, it's cold. Stay haram. Why are you so haram all the time? Stay halal. It's cold. It's for eyeliner. The eyeliner goes in here, and then you put like this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know how old this is. I have absolutely no idea. I don't know what language this is either. Oh, it's English. No, this is printed in English. I don't know. This might be from uh, Balfour. This might be from uh, from British Palestine. I'm not sure. I love apps, mozzarella sticks, buffalo wings, nachos, oh, Ramadan's over, go off, I'm not, I'm not gonna stop you. Hey girl, I saw the moon in your eyes, Zaid Mubarak. Alfie, you could pick up so many Muslims. I was gonna say girls, everyone, you could pick up so many Muslims. Oh, I love it, I'm glad you love it. Yeah, this is 
probably from British Palestine. I don't know. I'm unsure. It says made in in the faintest, and then it doesn't say where it was made. I have no idea. <laughs> There's no like logo or anything. Syrian so America gave away land they didn't own instead of like a land they own. What if they gave the Jewish people South Florida? How different would history be? It was the British, and the choice was between Ethiopia and Palestine, so it wasn't great. <laughs> or, you know, if we could just like not be anti Semitic, that would also be cool. <laughs> We could, we could be stay semitic i don't know <laughs> stay anti-anti-semitic let's go with that one was it uganda you're right it was uganda but wait not ethiopia why is my brain seeing ethiopia i'm gonna believe you if you say uganda i just thought it was ethiopian languages are all made up this is true it looks hipster sure sure i want one of them and next time i go to palestine i'll take mass order for them because i know where to buy them uh you'll get like the new version of the same thing mm, i don't know what language this is oh it's english okay but it's really here, here look we're gonna zoom in i guess you can see yeah you can see it says made in it's a bit hard to make out the letters. I wasn't sure if it was going to be Hebrew. It's kind of blocky. Some weird English foreign stuff. <laughs> Made in China. It does not say China anywhere that I can read. I don't know. Maybe. This is... Let's get, let's get really inspectory of this. Uh, maybe. I have no idea how old this is. It's not like ancient. At oldest, it's probably like the 30s, but like. Mm, there's a famous satirical, satirical song in Israeli culture. Why not Uganda referencing that choice? Really? Well, that's. Huh, I'll believe you. My brain is just completely mixed up then. Yeah, I don't know when it's from. Not a clue. Someone else can figure it out. Someone who knows things about stuff. Blue Raven, 1987, welcome in. <laughs> Hope you are having a good day. Um, hope you're having a good time. Feel free to lurk here if you'd like. Feel free to join chat if you'd like. Whatever you feel comfy with. And thank you for the follow. Right, you here. Mm, Sagittarius is the center of the universe. I like Sagittarius, Sazzles. One side says made and the other side says made out. It does not doesn't say anything it doesn't say anything you're supposed to spin it on the floor like spin the bottle i think and then whoever it lands on gets to have the eyeliner mm, i guess you shake their hand only one side gotta be naughty wait what oh the uganda thing <laughs> so um the it, what dormar and i are talking about is where the location of israel was going to be um the choices were Palestine and Uganda. I don't know why my brain was saying Ethiopia, Uganda, as to where the British were offering as like a homeland for the Jewish people. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, as with many things, you forgot the other choices. Were those not the main two? Brazil and Antarctica. Yeah, but the main two, wasn't it? Okay, I don't know about Antarctica. Antarctica sounds like you're making stuff up. Now I feel like I'm forgetting all my history. It's been a while. Go do a refresh over here. Hello, Blue Raven. Hi, how's everyone? I just woke up, but I'm good. Good morning. Good morning. Um, we are just hanging out. <laughs> it's the big holiday after Ramadan, so we're just hanging out, chilling, um, stitching, maybe, maybe sometimes stitching. We're getting something done. Look, we've got like this much done. I would like to say. I would like to say. Why did the Jews settle in the Palestinian area? The British offered that either that area or Uganda, since Jerusalem is here in the Jewish holy city, the choice was clear to them. The fact that people already were here was irrelevant to them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Indigenous populations be damned. <laughs> not old. 1930s at the oldest. It's nothing. Almost 90 years old. Babs, I don't know how to describe to you how old things in Palestine are. You could spit on a rock and it might be a rock Jesus held at some point. Like, it's... Everything in Palestine's ancient. It's just... It'd just be like that. <laughs> mm, the Brits were behind it all these goddamn British people. 
Heard it on a forum post, so it might be made up. I just want to see a universe where there's a giant Jewish settlement in Antarctica. Yeah, that one would kind of suck, no? That one would kind of suck, though. Why are you all looking so cute today, peeps? You're giving me extra pretty vibes today. Keep it up. It's Aid. Barara. It's a holiday. You're supposed to dress up today. I already told Fubzo has explicit instructions from me to go look super cute today. Mm, okay. Uh... Big stretch. <laughs> I stretch. I do. Okay. Did I, did I do my stretches? Yeah. Anyway, there's a bunch of people who I haven't really properly said hi to. What you guys doing today? <laughs> what you guys up to today? I'm wearing my Supreme Tho. Uh, Alfie, why do you make jokes like that? It would be so funny. That would be so funny. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life. Like a cross stitched. It's like fully decorated. It's like a proper Palestinian shirt and it just says Subrim in Arabic. <laughs> like the Coca Cola logo in Arabic. It just says Subrim. That would be so funny. I wish I was faster at cross-stitching. I would make you one. <laughs> Subrim. Well, P is not a le letter in Arabic, so it would be Subrim. I'm gonna do pretty graphic eyeliner for the holiday. Yeah, Larada, do it. Do it. Mm, to be fair, Uganda also had a population. A, a bit. <laughs> Just a bit. The US doesn't have much historical stuff that's older than the 1800s, so it's a pers perspective thing. I mean, that's true. That is, That do be true. That do be true. Ophi's Gesamt Kunstwerk. Commissioned by Anonymous Brits. <laughs> Gesamt Kunstwerk. Are we still allowed to dress up if we don't celebrate? It's, listen, it's a holiday. Why not? <laughs> no fun allowed. <laughs> it's a holiday. It's, go off. Go off. The Coca-Cola logo in Arabic, what does it look like? It looks like Kuka Kula. Here, let's, let's go look at the Coca logo in Arabic. If this messes up my sound again. Pull out the Halloween gorilla costume. Go off. Whatever. I'm not going to tell you. Listen, best holiday is Halloween. Because it's the best holiday. Wait, let me let me find Coca-Cola Arabic logo. i show you the Hebrew one too. Coca-Cola. That's what it says. <laughs> oh, wait. That's not it. <laughs> Excuse me for a moment here. There we go. Yeah, we can just have her in the background. How did... <laughs> this is it. This is it. Kuka Kula. Ta-da. That's a cat, Opie. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's only a little bit. But yeah, uh, you can you can dress up. You can do whatever you want. I don't know. Go hang out with some Muslims. Find a mosque and just be like, what's up, party people? I don't know. <laughs> Depending on where you are, there's probably lots of places have a decent Muslim community. Go get lit. If I was at like my local mosque and some random person just showed up and was like, can I celebrate? I'd be like, yes, hi. Yeah, hi, sure. What's up? What can I do for you? be so exciting nobody ever wants to celebrate the muslim holidays <laughs> mm, when i say this is 150 years old can you believe it like please this cathedral is 934 years old yeah yeah i mean yeah <laughs> it's also like specifically the u.s and canada that don't have that many older things i guess the southern u.s has a decent number of older structures right they haven't been destroyed there's some like stuff. Um, the Midwest has those graves, the the serpent graves. Aren't those like super super old? Those are those are pretty old school. Do I am I speaking nonsense? What is what are they called? It's like a serpent grave, right? Serpent grave. I just know there's the ones in Ohio. Serpent mound. Peebles. <laughs> Why are things so dumb? Where is it from? Like, when is it from? You wanna tell me when it is from? 
Do I not get to know when it is from? Mm -hmm. It's like 600 years old. That's something, right? Serve in grave. You always speak nonsense. This is a true fact. Did you know that Halloween used to be a pagan Sabbath? Trick or treat originally meant food and drink, and it was that people would knock on people's door asking for food and drink. A pagan Sabbath. What do you mean by a pagan Sabbath? These are the parts that confuse me of that. I knew it was a pagan holiday. I don't think I know the specifics, and I'm super down to learn the specifics, because boy do I love Halloween. The modern intonation. I don't need the history. Well, I'm into learning the history, but like, you know... I just love eat lots of candy, get super drunk, dress in a gorilla costume. It's so much fun. Sabbath means festival. Okay, in this context, yes. Uh, sure. So it was a festival for fall? Like, what was it to be, what was it to be celebrating? Was it, was it for fall? Was it like a, we a little late on the equinox kind of deal? Always serving, that's why you're the butler. Amazing. Yeah, you should use that. That was just gave you, like, it's such a good phrase. Mm. Americans are so cute. They get so excited when a building is older than 100. We have a smart smack dab in the city center that's older than your country, honey. It's not very old, hard to be older than the U.S., but that's all right. That's all right. Listen, listen. All of their stuff is new, and you cannot really... Uh, <laughs> You can dunk on Americans not having old stuff as much as you want, but I won't even slightly entertain the Americans have no culture root. That's, <laughs> that's, that one's just straight up untrue. It's basically, if, uh, if the modern world had like a Civ Six cultural victory, that would be the US. <laughs> yes, for the welcoming of winter and thanking the earth for a good harvest. Oh, that's so sick. Okay, so that's what Halloween was originally for. I'm into it. Thanks for the harvest. Comes from Semitic languages, specifically Hebrew, meaning rest. Yeah, because I know Sabbath is something you say for Saturdays, right? When everything's shut down. No going anywhere, Dormar. You better get all your stuff done first. The U.S. is a young country, but I think us Europeans are to blame. For everything, I agree. For, for, I, I do like blaming Europeans. Saturday in Portuguese is Sabado. Everything for Dormar. Yeah, even even Palestine doesn't get shut down on Fridays. But saying they're uncultured, it just tickles me. Yeah, no, things are very new in the U.S. No, but I, Hebe, I know you didn't say so, but usually the argument that follows is like the U.S. has no culture, which is just not true. Oh boy. Anyone who says the U.S. has no culture is either one, American, or two, has never been to the U.S. and experienced the absolute culture shock that happens when you, like, step off a plane. <laughs> like, oh my god. <laughs> you, Dormar, do you agree? You went to the U.S. like a couple weeks ago, like a month or two ago, right? <laughs> do you agree? The absolute culture shock that happens. Exactly what I just did with the coal container, so I can't even argue. That's all good. You sound good. Saturday in Spanish is Sabado, but in Catalan, it's Dissabte. I don't know how to say this. I'm going to say Dissabte. The culture is also capitalism, baby. It is hardcore. It is very hardcore. I mean, yeah, this is hardcore capitalism taken to like its logistical extreme. And I'm an idiot. No, no, I'm not an idiot. Never mind. I'm so smart. We're good. <laughs> Listen, there's only two. Fun fact that no one asked for. I'm into it, Lerada. You can tell the fun facts no one asked for. I don't mind. It's better than your usual BS. So true. I was having two and a half years of culture shock just by being in a relationship with an American. To be fair, it was a mutual culture shock. She was shocked about many things here. I mean, to be fair. <laughs> Getting culture shocked by uh, Israel's pretty understandable. It's a weird place. It's a really weird place. I like your usual BS. And yeah, you and Coetas, don't make me send you into her chat again. I will send you to Lerada's chat again. How's it going, Coetas? Good morning. Happy Aid. Sweeties, we're totally normal. We are totally normal. Rocking back and forth. 
holds knees. <laughs> I was telling facts about black holes no one asked for. Yeah, go off. And I gave permission to do so. I, I don't mind. I just said, yeah, I just said I wasn't going to read them all out loud, but you can go out. Fun. Cool. Mm, yeah, I've never been in a relationship with an American. That does sound very confusing. <laughs> a little bit of a culture shock there. It's also important to remember, though, every state has its own, and even within states, you'll find variety and difference. It's a big country. Um, people often forget that the U.S. is the third most populated country in the U.S., like in the U.S., in the world. It, like, it's not even close to China or India's populations, but like, it is right after those two. <laughs> and then I'm pretty sure number four is Indonesia, baby. Is it number four, Indonesia? It might have changed. I'm not sure if it's still Indonesia. Baby. with this like i said yeah when you asked if you should so i asked for them <laughs> yeah all right you did yeah we're all good just go off get as many black hole facts as if you so desire wait i'm trying to remember now what is the most populated countries waiting for Indonesia to take over? Take over from the U.S. The U.S. has too much immigration, and the Indonesia has too much emigration. I don't think they're gonna take over. It's India's the biggest, right? And then China. I think India passed China. India, China, U.S., Indonesia. Brazil is Brazil the fifth most populated? I'm trying to do this from memory when I can just Google it countries by population is it brazil oh no china's still number one all right i thought india had taken over china fourth is indonesia indonesia big as hell people do not realize how many people live in indonesia hey right, come here let's go check we can google things okay so we got china then india then us indonesia pakistan nigeria brazil bangladesh bangladesh being top 10 is so wild russia and then mexico and then japan yes yeah that's the list the, the dark flags i know evil mexico evil japan which is just japan already has an evil flag to be honest <laughs> don't worry about the dark mode it's fine Evil Japan goes hard. Japan already has an evil flag. They don't need a second one. It's good. Vatican, most densely populated country. I don't think that's true. Nigeria, number six. Nigeria, number six. That doesn't surprise me at all. There's so many people that live in Nigeria. Evil <laughs> India. I mean, all of South Asia is wild to have India, Pakistan, Bangladesh on top ten. I don't think people realize how many people live in South Asia. South Asia, wild and for real, for real. So many people. Bangladesh is tiny for how many people live there. Depends on how you define tense. Isn't Vatican like... Is it a thousand people or is it a hundred people? I don't remember. It's not a lot of people. Bangladesh is going to be underwater. Yeah. Yeah. Get ready for new refugee crisis coming soon. Hi, Meg. What's up? <laughs> How how's it going? How are you doing? By area, it's quite different. I don't care about area. <laughs> I don't care even a little bit. Area? Who cares? I'm more interested in population sizes. I don't know. I find it more interesting to count by people than by land. <laughs> they should sink at least one first world country in revenge. Netherlands would be the easiest to go to that, so that's my vote. Um, so does the Maldives get to take someone out? Oh, he's such a size. I'm more interested in how many people live somewhere than how big the place is. Like, sorry. Sorry my metrics are more human-based. Jeez. <laughs> Neo Bangladesh floating cities. Dude, I mean, Maldives gets to take someone out, no? They're first to go. They should be they're taking the Netherlands with them. Doing okay, a bit of been sick, but otherwise pretty good. How are you? I'm doing quite well, doing pretty decently. I'm sorry to hear that you've been sick. Let me send you some hugs. I send you hugs. Sorry you've been sick. Mm. First and third world should switch places. I don't even know what you mean by that. 
absolutely no idea what you mean by that. In terms of money? Location? Or are you just gonna like put a Bangladesh? <laughs> just like pick it up and put it somewhere else? Just watch the video where the children of the earth golden record was decoded. Amaze balls. What is this? What does that mean? Is that the thing that they sent into space? Iroh, what do you know about this? Oh, I completely skipped Blue Raven's message. Let me do that. Um, sorry, Blue Raven. <laughs> brain empty. The harvest season, Halloween, the harvest season, season closes. The days grow dark and the winter's initiated. The goddess enters her time of sleeping and dreaming. The god, the sun, awaits rebirth. Samhain is witch's new year, both solemn and joyous. The night the veil becomes the world the thinnest. It can be celebrated with high revelry, with costume parties and witches' balls, or solemnly as a night for honoring ancestors and contacting departed loved ones. So, Blue Raven, what you're proving to me is that uh, it is the best holiday. <laughs> it's just the best holiday. You can celebrate it two different ways. <laughs> that by pop. Okay, yes, yes, there we go. Two different ways. You can be serious or you can be really fun about it. Hi Jane, Eid Mubarak, Allah Barak Fiki. How's it going? How are you doing? Yeah, it's the space disc. Okay, cool. I thought so. Paganism is very cool. Do you follow um can someone do a shout out to a Stitch in Time Designs, please? If if anyone knows how to spell their thing. Space Disco. <laughs> and it's a space disco. If anyone could do a shout out to a Stitch in Time Designs, I would be thankful. Yeah, there we go. Stitch in Time Designs is uh, big on this. I'm not sure what to call it. That is a proper word for this. I'm very, I'm so sorry. I'm Abrahamic loser. Absolute loser over here. Um, all I know is Islam. If you want more cool witch stuff, I think she would be fine with that. More cool witch stuff. Follow a Stitch in Time Designs. Norse Pagan. Thank you, Jane. Norse Pagan. She's got like a redeem. Where if you can get her to take out a bag of bones and she'll like read you a rune off of a bone, it's pretty sick. <laughs> she knows so much about this stuff. Do follow Stitch. She's awesome. I love her. She's also my Twitch cousin. Anyone with Stitch in their name is automatically my cousin. Hi. Welcome to the Stitch family. We're going to run this website. A golden record with codes to decode that show pictures, music, our location in space, etc. Sick. <laughs> Which is balls. Yeah, go hang out with Stitch. It was sent out in space going nowhere with the hope that someone finds it and is aware of our existence. I like the idea. It's very poetic. I'm trying really hard to reset my mood because my boyfriend pissed me off like a pro yesterday. Do I need to get the scissors out, Jane? Do we need to... Jane? Jane? Do I need to snip snip? <laughs> snip snip we can snip snip jane how's paganism divine that see that's why i don't know the right words for these things Do you, everyone go talk to stitch she knows she just knows so much she's so smart about this stuff dang it Jeffy jenkins that was a good one <laughs> do not ask where the bones came from that's stitch's business she also makes cute plushies yeah she made a uh she made a a a thing a thing the one that asks about tables. God dang it, what's it called? The lady. Sphinx. She made a sphinx, which was awesome because I just kind of kept sending her riddles <laughs> when she was stitching this, when she was crocheting the sphinx. It's none your business. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not anyone's business. Vaguely aware I have a slither of knowledge. I don't know anything. What are the scissors for? They're for snip snip. <laughs> Stitch Gang is totally ready to fight, always, constantly, 24-7. Lady asks about tables. I'm sorry, the Sphinx, okay, whatever. My girl, homegirl the Sphinx asking about tables and crap. <laughs> you know what I mean. The job place called, apparently I was the only one who applied, so take me and my accommodations. Hell, yeah, I rap, I rap, I rap. Congratulations. <laughs> I sing you a little song. GG. GG, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. You've got this. You've got I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I hope it's good and they're not weird and they're awesome. Congrats. <laughs> Hi, Jane. 
Hi, corpse, what's up? Oh no, not the snip snip. This is a threat to Jane's boyfriend specifically. The snip snip. What am I? It is. I'll leave it to their imagination. Two more hours and then I get to go home. Congrats. <laughs> This is, uh, I, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. I've got you. You and Babs, I'm holding your hands until you get to go home. Although I'm going to be online for three more hours, but, like, you guys go off. <laughs> mm hmm I really miss the days where I would just punch it out. Wait, what are we punching out? What's going on here? Five more hours to get to spin on my chair and lie on my couch. Exciting. Exciting, corpse. Jane knows her way around a pair of scissors would not mess. I, listen, sometimes you need threats from external. It's not a threat. Legally, it's not a threat. It's just sound effects. Legally, legally, this is not a threat. I'm just making sound effects. I shall not. That is fair. Mm, I could use the hand holding right now. I've got you. I told you. I have two hands. One is for Hebe and one of them's for baths. <laughs> because they're pretty. Wait, what? No, no, no. I did not say that. I did not say that. <laughs> I corrected myself. It's punching out people, then I had to talk to some cops and a court judge, and I had to calm down. Okay, that too. Hi, Hegu, what's up? What has four legs in the morning, two in the afternoon, three in the evening? Yija by Ikea. Yeah, let me just start messing up Swedish. Ja? Jeg elsker deg. Yai and Skerdai. The only other Swedish I know is highly inappropriate, so that's it. Okay, weird Ara Larada Aizumo. Sure. I love you too. Hey, Heigu, you want to hear another one? <laughs> Heigu, I know Yai and Skerdai, and I know Yai Vilkinille Medai. <laughs> that's all my Swedish. I had a Swedish roommate for a while. Yai Vilkinille Medai. Okay. Slow down. Yeah, m absolute filth. Uh, that is my, that is what I learned from my Swedish roommate. There were two phrases she would just say. I was like, all right, girl, <laughs> let's go off. Good times, good times. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, I'm going to ignore whatever we're talking about noodles. You dang noodles. Gu turned up at the exact perfect time. I mean, Gu is always turning up at this. She was summoned. She was summoned indeed. What the hell am I doing? Okay, so it's one, and then it's one. Go over again. All right. I am technically... I want you all to know, I am technically cross-stitching. It does be happening. You could have me on mute, maybe, sometimes. I mean, you could mute me whenever you want. Whatever. Go off. Mm. Ikea? Like, I might be tiny, but I have rage. Go for it. You do it. Very small and vengeful. Jane is a vengeful spirit. <laughs> Listen, there is no limit to the amount of rage one small body can fit. Case in point. The kitty cat. <laughs> she is very tiny, yet she can get so upset. You go to the bathroom in the dark to put candles on each side of the faucet area thing and light the candles and then you look into the mirror and you say I can't spin around. If you do this, you will summon me. You have to do it three times. How to summon a Swede. I miss my roommate. I'll go BRB going to the bathroom. I miss my roommate. I wish that would work. I'd hang, I'd hang out with her. Be a good time. Mm, do you know Lilo and Stitch at some point? Lilo makes a drawing of Stitch and his rage levels. I Stitch. You. At 3 a.m. for peak efficiency. Yes. Or do it even better. Do it in the Ikea bathroom. <laughs> I have to go to the Ikea and I gotta get those meatballs and make like a... Make like a little summoning circle out of the Ikea meatballs. And then like get like a, those crappy electric candles that they sell in Ikea as well. And just light one in the middle and then just go like goo. <laughs> You gotta also shake your butt. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be summoned. If not, you did something wrong. See, that's my method of summoning, Heigu. That's how it works. I'll lend you my knuckle dusters. Fight on, tiny warrior. Yes, go for it. Go for it, small warrior. Speaking of tiny, 
Jane, Jane, Jane. You know how I mentioned my partner's uh, sister just came here? She's taller than me. He is taller. The gall. The audacity. <laughs> we were walking and I was like, he's taller than me. <laughs> so offended. I was so deeply offended in my soul that someone dares be taller than me. I'm, I got too used to like Taiwan where m most people are not. Do you live with giants? Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Pills is my height. Um, like roughly. It's like one centimeter taller than me, which I hate admitting. But I was just like, who are you? Who who are you to be taller than me? How dare. Kislato? Did I say Kislato? I did. I kissed her on her butt. <laughs> mm. I'm 155. I'm used to people being taller than me. It's offensive. I hate it. Everyone should be shorter than me. Mm -hmm. Do you have to look out your bedroom window and I'll be there? I live on the sixth floor, corpse. I just want Goethe to throw me over his shoulder, Shrek style. I don't even know what that means. Put your heels on next time. Okay, step one. Acquire heels because I do not own any. I will buy them at a thrift shop in the US. I've... I have no desire to buy anything new. I gotta go out with my mom for a bit since it's nice out. I'm gonna take a stupid walk for my stupid mood. I'll see you in a bit. Remember to be tiny and have rage. Will do. We will live in a way that makes Jane proud. I will see you around, Jane. Have a nice walk. Enjoy the nice weather. One, two. Six, four, Opia's head height and normal people height. <laughs> yeah, Coetas could stand outside my window, actually. <laughs> Just like from street level. <laughs> Maggie is 10 inches taller than me. She calls me her pocket wife. <laughs> yes. We should cut their legs even to, to even out the heights. I agree. I agree. I mean, I think Alfie's taller than me too, which is very offensive. I'm just going to like kick him in the knees. <laughs> mm. What happened to the stitch test redeem? Oh, I turned it off today just because I've already like put so much effort into this outfit. I put so much effort into this. I can't do this with the stitch dress. We can do it next week. It's gonna be Eid for a while. Don't worry. Don't worry, many Eids. Oop. I feel so naked without it now. Fair enough. <laughs> mm. No piggyback for you. I already promised you. I'll just dance instead. Sure, sure. Is the music too quiet? I got lo-fi Middle Eastern music playing. Mm, I played this fun new game on Steam on stream today. It's a historic fantasy with political intrigue and decisions that matter. It's similar to another game that's over 10 years old now. I streamed a long time because I didn't want to put the game down. What was it? Cr Crusader Kings? <laughs> Did you get into Crusader Kings, it sounds like. Pretty sure that one's got a lot of intrigue that I don't understand. Mm, so to do this for today, one, fight Jane, two, carry Sassel's, three, stand outside Opie's house, leave it alone. I didn't say you should do it, I said you could do it. I have to bake a cake. <laughs> To-do lists that people have going on. <laughs> um, indeed, in, in, indeed. Frightful doesn't have time for this, Mr. Frightful's got places to be and cakes to bake. <laughs> These can be done at the same time. <laughs> they can be done at the same time. The cycle of standing outside each other's houses continues. Can you leave me alone? Nobody stand in front of my house. My cat will go at you. The name of the game is Tyranny. It's by Obsidian and the developers that made another game I love. Fallout New Vegas. I think I've heard of it. I think I've vaguely heard of Tyranny. Sounds cool. You can stand outside the front of her house, Coetas. I'm inside the bedroom window. Okay, I only have like one window. I don't. <laughs> the Europeans with their multiple windows. Alfie, do you even have a window? <laughs> Tyranny's amazing. Uh, I love that specific quote out of context. Very good. It's a very good quote out of context. I got it for free from Amazon Prime Games, so I figured out why not stream it. I'm glad you liked it. It's always good to be like into it. Of course I have a window. Do you? You have one? Do you have multiple? How many windows do you have? I have two whole windows and one of them is facing a building. 
Well, two of them are facing a building, but one of them is like, I can reach out of it and touch the building. My to-do list is eat chicken, convert to Islam, and play Minecraft. What a lit day. I'm jealous. I had to play 7k for my windows recently. Oh, sorry. You and Ice Buddy both. That sucks. It sucks. I don't have a balcony though. Me neither. I will have a balcony in shot a lot. If I had a balcony, I would never leave. Who needs anything when you can go out to the balcony? Two windows if you include the shared kitchen. That counts. That counts. I'd rather not be in the middle of Coetas and Jane fighting. I guess so. Make pigeon noises. Make pigeon noises so she has to open the blinds. Please don't. <laughs> like, I put a flag. I put so much decoration today. If I open the blind, it'll be so much. Hi, Billiam. What's up? How's it going? Cuckoo. <laughs> Listen, if Leto hasn't heard you, there's no pigeon. That's, that's it. Mm, yeah, or later in chat. Jill is feeling much better. I'm not sure what I missed the first part of that, but hell yeah. I'm glad Jill is feeling better. Amazing. Thank you for the shout out to Billy and Babel, who is a cool art dude. Very cool art dude. Does the art. Does he stop cooing? Does the art, does the, the drawing and the other such things. Drawing and other such stuff. O zero core zero o cheered. X one. Cool. Are you the monster Mubarak something close enough? Allah ibarak fiq, ya Billiam, Allah ibarak fiq. Close enough, how is it going? How are you doing? Hangs up CD by a thread in the tree to scare away the pigeons. You know what you have to do? X1, cuckoo. What you gotta do, Hegu? Okay, unironically, this is the actual way you keep birds away from you is you hang up a bird, a, a dead one, by its foot. It's gotta be able to spin in the wind, otherwise you can't keep the birds away. Hi, Cacti! Hello, Cacti, what is up? How is it go- Hi, Corpse, hi, Billiam, hi, Chairman, hi- Why are you awake? Hi! Cacti's here! Is there Cacti? What the- Oh, it is Aid. It's a Aid miracle. It's a Aid miracle. Cacti, hello. What? How is it going? Is it what? What? <laughs> Why are you up? Why are you here? How nice of you to show your beautiful face. I do Cacti. <laughs> Cacti, my beloved. Hi. How are you? The Aid miracle. I'm lurking every morning, but today I had time. Have you? How's it going? Welcome in. How are you doing? Also, hi, Rimby. What's up? How's it going? Mm, Chappie Jenkins screamed De Jedi Knight Jedi Academy three days ago. Was I not following them before? Feel free to give them a shout out. Feel free. Feel free. Um, what am I missing here? OMG. <laughs> what does OMG? I see. Makes sense. What? What? Yeah, thank you for shouting out Chappie Jenkins. Yeah, go for it. Hello, halal friends. No need to be halal valiant, it's Aid. Aid Mubarak valiant, unless you're doing the tomorrow thing. But it's today for me. I was showing messages from my family group chat earlier, it's the way you know Aid. But Cacti Habibti, I'm so, I'm so like, I'm starstruck. I'm starstruck that Cacti is here. I don't, know how to res I don't even know how to respond. I usually only ever see Cacti over in Larada's stream, who's way after me. I also wanted to wish you Aid Mubarak, hoping I didn't butcher it. It's close enough. Happy Aid. Close enough, Habibti. Allah ibarak fiki. But uh, Valiant, hi. How's it going? How, how's everyone? How's everyone who just came in? Happy Aid. <laughs> mm. Where? There we go. Mm, better than the start of Friday and the last of fast... The start of Friday and the last fast for us. Yeah, see, Valiant the way I know. If he's doing a mukbang stream, I'm most certainly not. We almost had the moon last night. The old men were shook. That's so funny. No, the way I know that it's Aid, Valiant, the only real way to know that it's Aid is you start getting images like this in your family group chat. Goliath, I want to 
you get images like this or you get your uh you get your uh quran quotes uh you know and you get your uh sparkly oid mubarak work your sparkly oid mubarak this is how you know it's the real holiday Oh, I was going to send you the images I got like that. Get in line. This is my uncle unironically sending it to the family group chat. <laughs> go off. Go off, hello. You know, it's all good. That's how you know that the holiday has begun. I realize you're already going to have a lot. <laughs> it's going to be endless. This was just from last night. I'm going to have more. I'm going to have way more. My dad is the uncle in the group chat sending those pics. Those were from various family members. There's going to be even more. Mm. This is the first year I've been sent stuff like that. Wait, who's sending you Aid stuff? Should I forward it to you? I'll forward it to you, and then you can forward it to me, and then it'll be like, we'll all celebrate Aid. You get a nice flower images and stuff. We get Morgan Freeman with a quote. Now we get like the flowers and we get the sparkles. You know how it is. Don't forget the du'as about Ramadan ending. That might have been what the du'a was. <laughs> might have been. It's, there's a lot of copy-pasting as well, but I'm not going to show that. It's all my new international friends from the uni. Oh yeah, I forgot you have a big Pakistani population, don't you? Yeah, you do. Go off. Mm. But yes, happy almost early to Valiant. <laughs> Someone on Tumblr put Lebana on a cheese pole. Not sure how Lebana is a cheese. Maybe they meant like, I don't know what they meant. That's not a cheese. That's yogurt. That's a literal. Is yogurt a cheese? No, we can't. We can't. This can't be how we start. Right? This can't be how we end Ramadan. We cannot ask such question. <laughs> the Jedi Knight games excel at that. I've heard that they're good. I've heard that they're good. Oh, Cacti. Cacti, have you met Leto? Cacti, 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 have you met Leto? I show you. Bricklaying. X1. Happy Eid. Yes, yes. Many food, many drinks. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Eid Mubarak, you brick lane. How's it going? Here's, here's the kitty cat. This is Leto. I don't know if I don't know if you've met her before. She's kind of sleepy. Yes, Leto is amazing. She's here. She's just a little bit sleepy. She's small baby. She's don't stop it, Max. She's she's small baby, sleepy baby. Very, very sleepy. She also likes the jangling. Small sleep. Yeah, she likes the noise that this makes. <laughs> She's very into it. <laughs> I'm also a small baby and a bit sleepy, indeed. Well, it's clean in time. We'll get some clean and done. I know her. Yes, Rick we love that though. Everyone loves that though. X1. Leto forever sleeping. She looks like a croissant. You got... Hey, you look like a croissant. A croissant. My little croissant. <laughs> I love that meme. It's so dumb. Mm, this means there will be fireworks tonight. Maybe. Maybe, yes, there will be fireworks tonight. Is yogurt a cheese in which bin does the pot go in? Wait, what? I'm so confused. Thank you for the bits, Brooklyn. How are you doing? Croissant. <laughs> hon, hon, hon. Wait, wait, wait. Where is it? Wait, 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 wait. Don't you hon 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 me, I'll hon 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 you. Give me a second. Give me a second. I do the hon hon honing around here. Okay, perfect. Um, hon hon hon! <laughs> there we go, sorry, it took me a second. <laughs> 45 shared. X1. Mm -hmm. I went to the bakery and get a croissant. Quaso. Quaso. Lurk, lurk away. Wait, who's lurking? Hey, hey, Gu, hey, Gu, lurk away as much as you like. Uh, thank you for being here. Thanks, thanks for. I know it's early as hell. If you gotta go to sleep, yeah, I totally get that. All right, hon, 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 croissant, croissant, little croissant. I don't know what that meme is from. <laughs> I just have this here. All right, I'll turn this back off. My little green screen. Mmm. Go lurk, no goopy go. No, everybody can lurk if they want to. All lurking is more than welcome here. Is 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 all is all welcome. You good? Do I know what I'm doing? I'm just lurking. <laughs> She's gotta go do stuff. 
Heigu loves me? I think there's a mistake here. Um, you're gonna have to ask Heigu to clarify. I cannot speak on her behalf. I do not have the legal... I do not have, like, legal paperwork that allows me to speak on Heigu's behalf. <laughs> Maybe the lemna you get in the ball form is, like, a cheese. Yeah, I guess so, but, like, ugh, not really. Break lane 40, vest shared. <laughs> X1, Gubi, I miss ya so much. No lark, no work. No lark, no work. See? This is what happens. <laughs> I don't know if it is. You're gonna have to talk to Heigu. Whether 